Hey, what's up everybody? So today I wanted to go over a topic that I think is beneficial to just about everyone, and that's ankle flexibility and mobility. So whether you're a weekend warrior, a runner, fitness enthusiast, or just somebody that wants to move better and have more freedom in that ankle joint, I think you can find benefit from all of these exercises. I'm gonna go over three of them, and you'll see that it's a mixture of mobility and flexibility. All right, so the first thing I wanna start off with is rotations, ankle rotations. This also kind of helps out the balance on that other leg, but we're gonna do 10 rotations going in, so those inside rotations, just really trying to take that foot through the full range of motion, okay? So once we've done our 10 that way, we're gonna go 10 the opposite way. And once again, just trying to get that full range of motion going all through that ankle joint. And you can treat these as sets, so if you wanted to do two to three sets of these, you know, 10 in, 10 out, then you can definitely do that. Next thing I like to do is either grab a box or a bench. Okay, right now I'm using a bench, but you can use a box or just even a step, right? So what you wanna think of is as you're coming forward, I'm not only gonna grab underneath the bench or the box, right? But I'm also gonna use my body weight to apply some force there but while I keep my heel on that bench, okay? So you'll notice I'll kind of kick that leg back and then use my chest on my thigh to kind of just get some a little bit more pressure. And that'll be definitely working a lot more flexibility, right? And you should feel that stretch in that soleus. Not so much the, you know, the, the gastroc, the calf part that you can see, but that underlying soleus muscle, all right? And so we're just gonna you can start off with like rocking a little bit, and then as you find that groove, then go ahead and hold it there. I'd say hold it there for anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds, okay? And we're just gonna be placing pressure on that the entire time, okay? If you feel any limitations within the front of that ankle joint, right here, you know, um, which sometimes and often happens, then I would suggest using a band, using a band to help free some of that area up, okay? So what you wanna do is put that band right underneath your ankle joint, more towards your foot. We don't want that high on the ankle right there because that'll kind of defeat the purpose of what we're trying to do, which we're trying to create some distance in between that ankle joint, right? So what we wanna do now, same concept, as we have that band kind of pulling back and down on that foot, we're just gonna lean a little bit forward on that, okay? And so, really trying to keep that heel back on the ground. Once again, you should feel a little bit of a stretch on that soleus back here, okay? And just applying pressure, kind of leaning forward onto that. If I go from a, another angle, you'll see that my knee is completely crossing that toe. Right? This should throw out all of those misconceptions that you've heard like, oh, your knee's not supposed to cross your toe. There's actually many movements and many benefits that we can uh, get from that knee over toe. Kind of helps keep that knee health as well, right? Once we've held that for about 30, like I said, 30 to 60 seconds, then we should be good on that and you can do a retest to see if you have any uh, more flexibility or mobility within that, uh, within that ankle joint. All right, hope you enjoyed my video. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, have a good day.